guys, it's Izzy, and today I'm here with my abuela, and we're making arroz con gordules, which is yellow rice and a type of pigeon pea, and it is a traditional Puerto Rican dish. And it's a tradition that has been passed on. I learned this from my mom when I was younger, and it's, the recipe goes on and on uh, through generations, and it's delicious, and from start to finish, it's about an hour. Alrighty, so my grandma actually quadrupled the regular recipe, so we're going to start with two servings of the pigeon peas into six cups of water, and it's probably going to, you're going to stir it occasionally, and it's going to boil. So while that's going to start to boil, you're going to add one cup of oil, which was pre-made by boiling the oil with achote seeds, which gave it that red kind of looking color. So then you're going to add three cups of sofrito. That's what is right there. And it's a mixture of all kinds of vegetables, which you can find online. It's a pretty known uh, Hispanic recipe. Then you're going to add about one cup of tomato sauce, and you're going to stir that so it's all homogenous. You're going to put that on medium heat to let it simmer. And while that's simmering, we're going to start with the rice, which my grandma likes to rinse it so it's not so starchy. Uh, this is a personal preference, so you can choose to or not. So what she did here, she's rinsing it so it'll look like that. And once she's all done with that, she's going to drain it. Now that's all drained, we're going to add it into the simmering sofrito, tomato sauce, and the oil. We are going to add it so that once it's all mixed together, it's going to have a yellow-orange tint to it because of the red oil. And that's exactly what we want. Once that's all added together, we're going to put the pigeon peas and the water into the bowl so that the water that's already hot is going to cook the rice. Now, this again is pers per personal preference if you want to add more water or not. It depends on if it feels too tight for you or if it's too loose, you might want to take some water out. My grandma had some water on another burner waiting so that you could she could add more if she wanted. Next, we're gonna add salt to taste. So here you see she's adding some salt. And she actually adds some more later once she tries it, and you'll see that in the video. So it really is, again, personal preference if you want to add some more or not. So what we're going to do after you added your salt is we're going to let that sit on high heat until the water has evaporated. it, And you're going to see that in the next few clips. This one right here, sorry about the turn, but it looks like the water has evaporated and that's exactly what you want. So you're going to mix that so the rice and beans are all together and not sitting at the bottom. So once that happens, it's going to mix all together and be a little orange. And then you're going to put your cover on it and set it down to medium heat for 10 to 15 minutes and stir occasionally. So here's it again after 10 to 15 minutes stirring. And once you're done with mixing, you're going to leave it there for about 20 to 25 more minutes. And here it is after the 20, 25 minutes. And you can taste it then, and that's when it's good. And here we added some tostones and pork chops, which is my grandma's staple. So if you liked it, you should try it sometime. Thank you.